for anybody who has a pond with carp in will know that carp like to root around so if you're wanting to plant lilies or any other types of plants you will probably find that the stones just get mooched around and thrown into your filter system and generally a bit of a pain so I've kind of come up with an idea so I'm in the process of planting some plants in my pond lilies and other such things so what I've done is I've bought a large plastic pot from eBay, a few of them, and uh, some filter wool. I've also bought some uh, tie wraps, some aquatic soil, and there's not much left in there at all now, but some stones, small stones, probably about an inch big or so. And this is what I've come up with. So what I've done is I've lined the pot with filter wool, I put a bed of stone at the bottom to hold that down and then I put several inches of aquatic soil in there, planted the lily which you can just see poking through the top there and um, put another layer of filter wool on top. What that'll do is it'll stop the uh, stones from spilling out and the soil coming out and uh, the tie wraps are there just to hold everything down. I will put another row of tie wraps on, go in the opposite direction, but you'll find that uh, the, the cart will just completely leave this alone. They won't bother with it. Um, it's very simple. It's fairly costly with the soil and, and whatnot. I mean, it's £10 a bag for, a, I think it's, uh, I can't remember how many litres is it, 20 litres or something. Um, the pots are fairly cheap, they're only a couple of pounds off eBay and the tie wraps are about a pound, so... The lily itself is probably about £20 as well, so it's quite expensive to do, but hopefully this will, uh, this will work. Hope that helps you out.